a trap! Indeed, Elf. Ye burned its nest earlier today, and it is mightily missed. Okay, Vessa, who did it? Ah! Damn! That's what you get for screwing us, Alex. You let us right into the dragon's lair. Oh, okay, you don't like it? Go back to your mom's basement then. Whoa! Hey, Alex, when did you get the white trash figures? Looks like you got the whole set. Nah, he's still missing the Beast of Aquan figure. I'd never even seen one in real life. Only on the back of the box. Yeah, that's as rare as the Mangled Steve figure in the zombie collection. They only made a few of those because kids were choking on his breakaway guts. Hello, guys. The dragon, it's gaining. Mm. Ye see a tunnel. It's dripping with glowing fungus. Alex, it's your turn. Okay, so I'll use my hands of a fluvium spell on that mother. Hey, kids. Hi. What's going on? It's rude. I... Oh, Chaka, I thought I warned you about Thursday nights. Oh, uh, it's dork night. I totally forgot. Cool dragons. Did you draw these? No, get your... Ugh, you've exposed a secret map. Damn, man. There's no way out of this tunnel. It's a dead end. You set us up, bastard. Forget it. Forget it, everyone. I can't play anymore. The campaign is ruined. Two months down the toilet. What? Why can't you just make another secret map and play the same pointless game tomorrow night? Such losers. Listen, if you're trying to say that I can't map out another entire adventure that fast, you're wrong. Because I could create one by tomorrow, no problem. Oh, oh, wait, ship tomorrow. We shall be girding our loins for the Black Mash Horicon. Wild to wild video games, comics, and toys. Oh, yeah. Alex, don't tell me you're gonna spend your whole weekend at that geek fest again. It's not a geek fest, okay? It's about kinship, valor, <laughs> and the appreciation of the horror sci-fi <laughs> fantasy culture. Plus, there's a whole wing on the seventh floor where all the hot goth chicks get all sexed up and have drug-induced orgies. And you've seen this. No. They don't let us up there. Um, actually, guys, I've been meaning to tell you. I don't think I'm going to the con. What? What's wrong with you? Don't tell me you have a date. What, did you finally ask Serena out? No. Oh, so you're just gonna watch her from a safe distance like usual. Wait, I think I know what's going on here. Is this the weekend of the Battlestar Galactica Marathon? No, that's next week. It's not about Serena, okay? Something happened to me the other day. I was out looking for the beast, right? And there in the action figure aisle was this 40-year-old freak guy. You got no guys. You got all of the ships, but you ain't got none of the guys to drive them. Who's gonna drive the ships? Man, that's awful. If you're gonna stock the ships, you should have to have the guys. No, don't you understand? It was a warning. If I don't stop living the life of toy buying, comic book reading, video game playing freak, that'll be me someday. Fat, bald, smelly, and out of my mind, screaming at some teenage stock boy, you got none of the guys! Don't worry, Alex. There'll be plenty of guys left at the con. You could even get the beast there, pr probably. Look, I've got to give up this whole hoarding thing. I want a normal life in the real world with, you know, relationships and girls and stuff. Alex, as your dungeon master, there's something I should tell you. There are two kinds of people in this world. Those who think the real world is nice, like a postcard from Arizona, and those who know it's a deep, dark, sucking void that no one should ever make a postcard out of. I thought the two kinds of people were the guys who take their figures out of the box and the guys who don't. No, no, no. It's the ones who have careers and the ones like us who have day jobs. Sorry, you're all wrong. It's those that have had sex and those that never will. Mmm. Oh, I swear to God, Serena, next time I get Auntie Christ in the wrestling pit, I will have my revenge. Oh. Francis, go home. We'll find someone to cover for you at the convention. No, I refuse to let my wrestling career get in the way of my job. Besides, I might be able to complete my Micronauts collection. I can't believe you want to work at this thing. I'm dreading the whole event. Nothing but a bunch of 30-year-old virgins that only use their opposable thumbs for video games and pulling it. Trust me, I'm not looking forward to it either. But I figure I've already had the worst job in the world, so what could be so bad? Yeah? What were you, a dominatrix or something? No! Matt! No, one summer I was the dunk tank girl at Pippi's, this kitty amusement park. Pippi. I think the reason I attracted so much business is because I grew up in the neighborhood. Everyone hated me. Really? Yeah, I was so different from them. 
And yell like, hey Vinny in the pink shirt, you throw like a freaking girl. I had water up my nose constantly. <laughs> Howdy doody everyone. Hey B, we suddenly have an opening for another fella to work the con. How about it? No, I, I can do it. No. Uh, uh, okay, okay. So you're right. So what do you say? Uh-uh. No way. Those things scare me, man. All kinds of freaks running around thinking they're Spider-Man and crap. No thanks. Come on, man. He's a Benjamin. I'm in. We must get the beast. We must be made complete. No. No more. It's time for me to move on. You can't stop with an unfinished collection. You will have regrets. I already have regrets. Yeah, but you'll have regrets and more action figures. But it doesn't matter. I said I wasn't going, and I can't go crawling back now. Crawl, Alex, crawl. Come on. You know you want it. Just give in, it's easy. No! I'm not listening to you anymore, and I'm not going. Hey, do you have a beast of Akron? Uh, don't have one, but I saw one being moved in this morning over by aisle five. Oh, look, you're right on time, man. Hour late. Fruity time, right? I'm sorry, B, but I ran into some females that you know. Fruity! Finally, I get to take my break. Hey, I thought that your boyfriend Zeke was supposed to stop by and hang out with you today. Yeah, as usual, he's dropping the ball. I'm not waiting. Have fun! All right, man, check this. This is the deal, all right? Prices are on the back. And whatever you do, do not go letting a guy take a comic out of the mylar, all right? Hey, Fruity, come on, man, where's your head at? I thought we'd be next to, you know, some of them vampire girls in Lace and All. But look at this, we're next to some Rob Zombie wannabe. Then look in the other direction instead. <laughs> <gasps> the beast. Serena? I was wondering, uh, will you be my boyfriend? Yes. I mean, not boyfriend for real. Oh. Just like walk around with me, because this clan of dorks, well, they're following me around and leering, not talking to me or anything, but leering is worse than talking anyway. Hmm. I always thought talking was much worse. I mean, more damage, you know, limitless possibilities for blurting out something idiotic. Mm -hmm. Okay, then. I'll shut up now. So is it okay? Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, um... Yeah, but will you make one quick stop with me? Absolutely. Thank God I ran into a friend to keep me away from those sorts of guys. They spend all their time with dolls. Too afraid of actual people. Don't you think that's pathetic? Yeah. Pathetic. What about that errand? Oh, oh, never, never mind. Issue 22? Is this the one where the woman I love, Lana Wagner, first finds out about her symbiote? Yeah, yeah, it's all about that crap. And there's some other stuff like that in there. Hey, girls, come over here. Help me sell some comics, huh? <sighs> is it really mint, or is it just excellent stretching for mint? Hey, girls, don't you know he's not a real athlete? He's just a wrestler. Easy, little man. Look, just tell me how much this thing is, okay? A buck ninety-five, man. Jeez, don't get all agitated. Hey, understudy, did you have to go to like embalming school and crap? Ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> ooh, he got you good, bro. Come on, come on, Freddy. We got customers, man. Let's just get back to it, all right? Yeah, look, look what I did. I made you a sale from that Andrew sex book. It was a buck ninety-five, but look, he left the whole two. What? That comic was worth $195, not $1.95. Damn, man. So you're saying I messed up? Yeah, and I could get fired for something like this? I don't worry about it. Hey, it's all good. I'll just go fix it like I always do. Hey, the second I make manager, I'm quitting. No way. That's exactly what I promised myself, too. I think this aisle only sells things made by underpaid children in China. So we should really get off it. That wasn't Alex right there, was it? Nah, that guy was with a girl. 
Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, didn't, I didn't realize what this was. I'm sorry. I really didn't mean to die. I swear. Alex, look. Sexy robot books. Cool. Um... It's, it's nice. Nice? It's completely hot. I love these books. There are all these great half-naked female robot figures. And you know, even though I'm a girl, I still think breasts are totally erotic. It, it's, uh... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I like the way all the features are so well rendered. God, you know, those guys that were leering at me probably couldn't even handle this much intimacy with a girl. We have to find out if that was Alex. We have to, um, oh, oh, damn. She, oh, she got it on. Oh. Oh. Mm. Oh. I feel weird. Here, stop by and check out the assy table. I'm in the new issue. I totally remember the first time I discovered porn, don't you? Uh, yeah. I mean, it was a little, well, unsettling. Really? I was going through my dad's closet in hopes of finding some foreign coins I could take to the bank in exchange. And these tapes are sticking out from under swimming Whoa. trunks. I mean, I don't want to look, but I do. I can't help myself. So I pull it out, and it's porn. Whoa. My normal clean-cut dad had Debbie Does Dallas and oh. Star Whores. Oh, I, my God. I will just, those are total classics. So what? What did you do? Did you watch them? Uh, no. No, I did not. <laughs> yeah, right. After the first porno I saw, I snuck into my mother's bathroom, tried on her G-string underwear, and pranced around in front of the mirror, trying to see if I could turn myself on. It was so silly. <laughs> uh, would you excuse me? I, I have to go to the bathroom. Okay, I don't have to go, but I'll walk there with you. Hey, buddy, 50 bucks for the book. Hey, man. Oh, sorry. Damn, it's like a uniform. Oh, God. <laughs> Look, it's exactly the opposite every place else in the world. You sure you don't have to go? No, I'm good. It looks like it's your turn, though. I'll wait here. Yeah. <coughs> oh. Oh. Damn that rum to an ale. Oh. Alex, are you? Goat! Look, don't tell anyone I was here, okay? Whatever you say, boss. You all right, Ben? No. <laughs> Goat, will you do me a favor and buy something for me? I can't do it, because I'm with this girl, and I don't want her to think I'm a toy hoarding loser. It's the Beast of Akron. I, I know you're coming from, baby. Because a woman once held me back from my dream in life. The Jousting World Championships. But she wouldn't lend me the money for a plane ticket. My mom's cheap. So the Beast of Akron, huh? Yeah. I don't know how much it's going to be, so... Here's my credit card. But be careful with it. The interest rate is a mother. Rock on! Hey. Hey. So, what do you want to do now? Hmm. I don't know. I have to make an appearance upstairs. Want to go up to the seventh floor? Really? The seventh floor? Okay, then. Well, I don't know. Since you're in your dorky work clothes still, you probably need this. Mmm. Try this. No, that's not right yet. Ah, forget it. Let's just go. Hello. Mm, thank you. Hi. Hey, Serena. Hey, Serena. How's it going? Hi. Well, it seems like you know everyone. Yeah, but I really don't dig a lot of the stuff they're about. I mean, there are some people up here who actually believe they're vampires. Ah, Serena. Hey, Serena. I left you a message a while back, but you never called. Yeah, my voicemail's been screwy. See ya. I used to go out with that ass. He kept trying to get me in a three-way with his ex. God. I really don't want to run into any more surprises. Can we go hang out somewhere quiet until my break's over? Yeah, sure. Excuse me, guy. Uh, sorry about that. Pardon me. Hey, you, wait up, man. Hey, there's been a mistake. Shh. You know, with that Android cup, it's 195. But the upside is there's no sense. 
Sucks for you. Okay, if you're gonna be that way, just give me the comic back. I'm sorry. That number cannot be completed as dialed. I said, give me the comic. Do you have a problem with our friend? Yo, man, or whatever. Did you know that somebody put makeup and girls' clothes all over you? Weirdo. Hey, there's no need to be doing nothing rash. Let go! You're gonna rip it! Aha! Oh I got it! Careful! Please hold! Come any closer, and this becomes a double issue. I dare you, Cupcake! He's serious! That's an Andro Synth 22! No. And it's mint! Oh. Oh. she. Hey, Trap! You seen Serena? A while ago. She was walking around with some guy. She was with a guy? I'm pretty sure it was a guy, yeah. Someone is gonna get hurt. Eh, she? You can sit down. You know, I'm glad Zeke's not here yet. I get to hang out with you and just talk. Do you ever notice how easy it is to talk to someone that you're not sleeping with? Yeah, I know what you mean. I mean, I'm so sick of being with these screwed up guys all the time. Really? I have such crummy luck. Or taste. What is it with girls like me? All a guy has to say is that he's been in prison or rehab and it's like my head tips right over and my brain starts to slip out of my ear. So which choice is Zeke? <laughs> Both. You know, if you wanted to, I'm sure you could have a different great guy to go out with every night. And twice, some nights. No way. I've always been a mess. In high school, I had to ask a boy to kiss me and he said no. Well, needless to say, I didn't kiss him. In fact, I scraped the bottom of the barrel that night. <laughs> so why didn't you kiss the guy you wanted? He acted all weird, like he wasn't interested. But later I found out he liked me, but the way I dressed put him off. What about you? What was your first kiss like? Well, this girl that liked me just grabbed me and kissed me. <laughs> I dare you to kiss Alex. No way, he's a freak. Wim! Okay, fine, but I'm not using tongue. Wow, you're so lucky. Yeah, lucky. Maybe I'd be luckier if I tried dating someone nice for a change. Nice guys, where all their liability and consideration half the prison record. Yeah? <laughs> sure. Serena, I know you're in there. It's Zeke. Open up. Ah, I'd better let him in. What's this about you being with some other guy? Hey, man. I don't think that Serena wants <laughs> to go... And to think. With... Trap had me all worked up over nothing. Come on, let's go. Go! Go, wait! Hey, man. Did you get the Beast of Akron? Uh, yes, yeah, somewhere in here. Uh, by the way, I got a few other things with your card. I'll pay you back. Check this out, man. Underage midget porn. <laughs> They're small and misproportioned, yet sexy. Goat, what about the beast? Oh, uh, yeah, I got it. Wait, here it is. The Beats of Akron. What the hell, man? You don't throw these things. Hey, don't ruin my glory moment, B. That's good, John. Robot foot <laughs> Oh, I love making freaks rest in peace. I know we had our words, but man, I hate those guys. Adults dressing up in weirdo costumes. Hey man, thanks. That was unbelievable. I am truly afraid of you now. I guess I was wrong. And don't you forget it. Hey, can I get a picture? You want a picture? You got it. Come on, guys. Time to crawl back through whatever bridge or tunnel you came from. S.C. Go on, guys. Come on now. Shoo, shoo. Go home to your mothers. Let's go.
Hey, I saw it first. Uh, piss off! Hey, it, it is Alex. Go, man, go. Stay on target. I really need this. Feet, need? Alex. What do you know about need? You're just a little kid. Need is when you're old and have high cholesterol and you're afraid of public transportation and you never need in the hotel room with a double bed. Ever. And you go to a store and they got none of the guys. Take it, man. Oh, no. You need it a lot more than I do. Oh, what do you want? No. Hey, Serena, come back here. So, what's wrong with you? I dumped Zeke. He was a loser. And you're sad? Uh-huh. But you dumped him. Yeah, so? At least you didn't miss meeting the Undertaker this weekend. Matt, he was sitting the next table over. Yep, I told you how he saved Fruity's ass by pulverizing ten guys at once, right? These aren't gonna make us feel any better. Yeah. Here, give me the mystery flavor. <laughs>